I am so super duper proud to let you know that my 10th and 11th books, Learn to Draw Art Deco Style Volumes 1 and 2 are now available on Amazons Worldwide. And to celebrate the release of Volume 2, I'm going to show you a quick flip through of each book. And then my husband and I are going to have a little drawing lesson as well as a little chit chat and answering questions that were given to me by my Patreon family. For more information on the perks that you get by joining Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Karen Campbell Artist. Now let me show you the book. We will have a little cocktail party with me and my husband, Sean, and then we will have a drawing lesson to boot. So before we kick off our cocktail party, I just wanna show you a big flick, quick quick flip through of each book. This is, I don't even, it's just, they're so new off the press that I don't even have my real copy yet of volume two. This comes, this ugly little gray line goes away once you buy the, <laughs> once you buy your own copy. But if you haven't seen volume one yet, I'll just give you a quick flip through. It is all things ladies and fashion. And I teach you how to draw figures using my super easy quadrant system for drawing figures, but not only that, and these are actual fashion figures based on McCall's sewing patterns, as well as magazines that were published back in the early 1920s and 30s. But in addition to teaching you how to draw these fashion flappers, if you will, I'm also taking great pains to teach you the best and my favorite ways of rendering clothing using markers, both alcohol markers and um, watercolor markers. They're some of my favorite and most fun mediums to mess around with and create my art with. There's a lot of lessons that correspond to the drawing lessons in the book that are all free on YouTube. So there's um, how to draw the smoky eye, we have how to draw um, all sorts of the figures, um, dogs, and also how to render a lot of these things as well in both volumes one and volume two. So here's a quick flip through of volume one. It's all things ladies and hats, faces, shoes, accessories, lots and lots of jewelry. And by the way, so much fun. It's like zentangling on steroids, but you make these beautiful pieces of art. You have a bunch of faces in there and it, this was such a blast. However, I couldn't fit all the things I wanted to fit in one book because we hadn't talked about gentlemen. We have the cars, furniture, everything in the Art Deco period to me is just nothing shy of just straight up eye candy. So I wanted to create, I wanted to de deep dive into all of it. So I had to go to two volumes to have that happen. Again, I'm introducing you to my quadrant method for drawing. And you can use that method to draw anything from figures to dogs and everything in between. And again, I have step-by-step -step instructions on how to render these things um, in different mediums from my two most favorite being markers of different styles. So they have alcohol-based markers as well as a watercolor marker. So they're very, very different, but they're all, they're very fun as well in their own ways. Lots of 14 different dogs and cats to learn to draw in this one. I've gotten so many requests to learn how to draw dogs and cats. And I thought, wow, what a perfect excuse <laughs> since I was doing a deep dive into this era, era then I might as well go all in. Um, making in these the furniture pieces too, I just had such an absolute blast. I didn't hold back. I went on and on and on and have all sorts of little pieces of furniture. Um, that is just really fun and breaking all the little pieces down was awesome. Lighting, then you have the Tiffany lamp, all these iconic sconces, ceiling pendants, and then putting them all together was like the most, like uh, this is where the party happens on the page. So when you learn to draw each one, you can compile them into these cute little scenes. We have little radios and there's little compilation of information on each each chapter as you go through the book as well. You have your iconic, again, candlestick phones. You have these old timey phone. We have a gramophone. And you know, I'm not a car person. However, the cars of that era are just so sexy and sleek and I had such a fun time drawing them that I took my time and went all in. 
Last but not least, we have our cocktail section. I've always enjoyed drawing cocktails. It's very fast, it's very fun. These are what my husband and I are gonna be drinking and drawing with you in this fun little episode that we have today. And we are gonna be doing the very last drink on the page, which is Ward 8. Delicious, delicious, delicious. And my coloring book based on all of the illustrations from both volume one and two is coming out actually any day. And that is called um, Fun Fab Flappers. Thank you very much. Pages and pages and pages and pages of all the illustrations combined into these adorable little scenes which you can illustrate further and color on your own time. Without further ado, let's get to those questions posed by my Patreon members and get to get, get going on our drink and draw. All right, this is testing with my microphone. Okay, again, this is just a test for the new microphone. Just say anything. I just did. Just talk for a second. I'm talking for a second and I'm still talking and talking some more and talking and talking. You know how much fun I'm having? Where's the ice? Okay. It's all set. All right, I hope, I hope we're in the shot. Uh, if I take mine off, I can't see it. <laughs> you should take you yours should off. You should be blind. Yeah. yeah. That would be It'll fun. I'll be like, um, okay. All right. We'll go with it. We are celebrating the publication of my new book. Because it's awesome. And like I told my Facebook group, and by the way, it doesn't have this like thing in it. That's a proof. It's so new. I don't even have the real book yet. It's very exciting. So to celebrate this awesome new book, we are going to be having a drink and draw along. And by the way, I think you should draw with me. That'll be, that'll be great. <laughs> hey, your microphone is fast. Uh, it's my first time. <laughs> this is Sean Campbell. He is my husband. He's a good man. Today we are building Ward 8, which is the very last project in this book, actually. Page 100. Every single book that we draw in this book has a little backstory to it. They all became popular during the Prohibition, which was the 20s and 30s, as you know. Although the name originated with honor, in recognition of a powerful Massachusetts politician winning his seat in 1898. Was that, was that English? I have no idea It's a idea little what you're slurry saying. for yeah, a yeah. second. Okay. The reason the drink became so popular during the Prohibition was that it was straight up made the taste of shady or dubious rye whiskey palatable. The hearty doses of grenadine and juices mask foul taste swell and stretch the rye supply to boot. Just for fun, we will draw in a stemless martini glass this time. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if we should draw it. Maybe we'll draw it in these ones. These are like, you know, old school martini glasses. All right, so as you can see, of all the cocktail recipes included in the book, there are, and there are many, because drawing cocktails is super fun. This one, ingredients listed are two ounces of rye whiskey. Do I, do, am I gonna hate this? Is it so gross? How could you Well, you it? took your glasses off for real. I did. <laughs> this is pineapple, no, right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's two ounces of rye whiskey, a half an ounce of lemon juice. It calls for a half an ounce of orange juice. However, we only have pineapple juice. One teaspoon of grenadine. Which we may not be able to open. A mercy, because it's been fused uh -huh. together. Oh my God, don't use your teeth. Don't do that. I'm not, not using them. <laughs> don't do that. Use like a towel. Use your uh, shirt. It works perfectly. Oh God. Uh, and a mercy and a cherry. All right. In a shaker, combine the whiskey, lemon juice, orange juice, and grenadine with ice. All right. Strain into a chilled glass. Okay. All right, all the ingredients are in. And this is very momentous that we're standing in front of. Very momentous. M might be strong. All right, are you ready? Okay. All right, hold this. In the shaker. All right, yeah, hold right, this. I'm scared. All right. Oh, it is that color. I was just going to say. Oh, it really is that color. So it was hard to find drinks that were popular. That's it? No, no. There's one more thing. It was hard to find drinks for the book because I wanted them to have color in them. Oh, it's so fancy. Oh, I need to take a picture of it. Are we doing that right now? I know, but I want to take a real picture of it. You can make another one after I can photo. 
Oh yeah. Cheers. It's so pretty. I can't wait to draw it. Oh, look at that shot right there with the cherries. <gasps> Cheers, Cheers, big ears. Same goes, big nose. Yes. Oh God. Oh, that's pretty tasty. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Oh, I think that's... it would be good with the orange juice too, though. Oh, yeah. It's good this way. It is good. It's not like too girly, but it's like sweet enough where I could drink it. Yeah, it's not at all manly. <laughs> Shut up. It was ma it's named <laughs> no, after a man. We always drink pink drinks. And it's named after a man. It's, got, hey, it's the same color practically got, as your favorite drink. It's got rye. Oh, I forgot. My patrons have questions for us. Okay. All right, I'm reading questions. I asked my Patreon family, I love you guys so much, if they had questions for us. Are you even in the shop? I don't get it. Well, <laughs> come in. And that we would answer them. Because Sean has never said hi before, like ever. Not really like a video person. Yeah, even though he actually dropped out of college legit to be a Hollywood movie star. I, I didn't. So, didn't totally did. Yeah. Michelle Werner, what up girl? asks, if you were stuck on an island, what would the five items that would be must-haves? I'm thinking food, water, shelter. <laughs> That's a total cop out. <laughs> Desert island art supplies? That's huge. Oh. Mm. I think Mod Podge would be in there. I think Mod Podge absolutely would be in there. I could actually want like to see what would happen if I just like poured a bunch of Mod Podge across sand and then let it all dry and then just see if you'd have a cool, you would have like a sand belt, <laughs> a belt sander. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I'm shocked that no one has done this before. I bet if you picked it up, it would be like a snake of sand. Sure, maybe glue sand can together. Use it. So that would be one option. Okay. You could also pour it over like logs just for fun. Just to see what it would shape it would make. It would be cool. Okay. So that would be one. What would you what would you bring? From an art supply standpoint? Um Come on. paper. Okay, paper. Paper. All what kind of paper though? You got only one don't do that. <laughs> the eye thing. Bless you. Thank you. Um so okay. You have paper, but what kind of paper? You're gonna, it's the only kind of paper you're gonna get mm. for the rest of your Hands island Hands down days. watercolor paper because it can actually get wet. You can't be more specific, like the make and the weight. And okay, the... Strathmore, I would actually bring that journal. Strathmore watercolor, 140 pound weight, 11 by 14 hardbound journal. Right, Jack? It's yeah. pretty specific. That is what I would bring. Okay. Good questions, Michelle. Michaela Reynolds says, yay, I would love to know what is your favorite thing to do as a family that brings out the most deepest belly laughs in everyone? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, games. Mm -hmm. I think games are full of belly laughs. Vacations are full of belly yeah, laughs. Yeah, vacations yeah. are much more fun than home. Yeah, yeah. we're always work. <laughs> we're always work too much. But vacations, belly laughs, hands down. Yep, yep. And swearing on vacation. I'm not sure I'd emphasize that. <laughs> Just keeping it real. All right, Ellen asks, what do your boys, well, this is a question for them, they're not here. Yippee! I'll, uh, I'll answer for them. Okay, uh, what do your boys think about their mom being such an awesome artist and YouTuber having not just one channel, but two YouTube channels? She's awesome. I think I'm pretty sure they don't yeah. care. No, <laughs> they, they don't. don't care at all. They're like, she has, she has channels? <laughs> She's like, don't tell any of my friends. <laughs> Um, uh, Banoush Bazzotti, and thank you, Ellen, for your question. That is a, that is a very nice question. However, my boys are teenagers, so they're over they're over me. Question to Sean from Banoush. Ooh. Which one of Karen's artworks is your favorite? Well, wow, oh, that's a tough one. So favorite Karen Campbell art pieces. Uh, it's kind of tough because uh, Vomiting dragging is a good one. It's a good one, but my hands down favorite piece would have to be. Oh, the uh, pen. The pen. You're stealing my thunder. Sorry, here. I'm sorry. I'm so yeah. excited to hear right, the right, answer. It's not about you right now. Um, 
is the her, she painted a picture of the Ben, as we called him, our, our old dog, the Ben, or Ben. Uh, she painted me a somewhat purple uh, variant purple. of Ben, but I think captured everything that was the essence of that dog. And uh, she painted that after he Died. Uh, was dead. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's my favorite Karen yeah. Campbell painting because I have an emotional. You should connection. go get I really it. Like that dog. You should go get it. It's right, right upstairs. Right Do it. Go get sure, it. Sure. Why don't you I go tell get a story it? Story and then like okay. you could show it to them. No, that's a good call. Um, Kathleen. Ken's red ass. Hi, Kathleen. She says, where do you go or what do you do for family vacations before COVID and now? Well, that's a good question, although it'll make me super sad. I'm not really sure which ingredients I've put in and which oh, ones I Oh, here, it's right here. No, oh, no, no. Oh, I, I, I know. only had the one. Jesus, two ounces of rye. No, no, I know what the ingredients are. <laughs> I'm just not recalling exactly which ones oh, I put in before oh, that last question came in. Extra whiskey. All right, and here's the Ben. Do you want to look around and see if you can see him in the picture? You know I do. <laughs> you know that's exactly. I was wondering if I could do that. Too. And he is purple. He's so cute. Heart the Ben. You know, I'm it's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like, our whole marriage. Our whole marriage. Just a little awkward at times. <sighs> All right. All right. Did you make enough for me to have more? I did. You I, did? Yeah. Kind of husband you think I am? Oh, I don't love whiskey as much tipper. as I love other things. You seem to be drinking it. I'm getting her down. All right. Okay. Two is my limit, though. Okay. On camera. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> No, really, it's really on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kathleen, where do you go? Or what did you do for family vacations before COVID? We have had some really nice family vacations. I think the boys' favorite, well, we've had three that are like of particular note in the last, what, four years, I would say. When Max hit like nine, we decided we could start doing some things. Sean and I both love to travel. And so we took our first big family trip to St. Lucia. We, we kind of figure we only have the kids uh, for a few more years and they're already losing interest in us. So uh, yeah, let's, yeah. let's hit the vacations hard right yeah. now. Uh, and then COVID, so you know, we did COVID. Yeah. Yeah. But we did get St. Lucia. And that was amazing. And we did uh, we London and Scotland. Scotland, which was my favorite of all the trips. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what did you like more, London or Scotland? <laughs> oh my God, I love Scotland oh. so much, so much. Um, but the nice thing about going to Scotland was like being obsessed for so long before, during and after, and then have the kids be like, you know what, mom? Like, I totally get it. This place is freaking awesome. And I was like, oh no! So. Shit. <laughs> it really was. So that was amazing. Can we go somewhere else? Um, oh, yeah, no, we did. We went to Vancouver and Seattle last year. Oh, yeah, that was that was a little urban. It was awesome. It, was, it, was, it was a, a lot. little too urban. It was a lot. We should have yeah. gone out of the city is what we should have done. We should have rented like a four by four vehicle and like gone to Mount Rainier and like just did things we did not do at all. Bad mouth all of Vancouver and Seattle. Oh. No, I said it was our fault that we didn't get out of the city. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course could not possibly be thought of as offensive by long, anybody who lives in those cities. Long time in any city. I'm not going down on Vancouver individual. <laughs> it sounded really personal. Eh? <laughs> Nothing against Vancouver. It was super nice. I like Vancouver. <laughs> But the best day, honestly, was going to the John Flute Vlog store for like two hours. And like, I was like a two hours crazy, of shoe shopping. I was like a crazy person and like taking pictures of every single shoe. You should share some of them on this video. Oh, Can I you will. do that? Yeah. Is that like copyrighted? Will John Flute Vlog come to our house and tell us not to do that? I hope he knows how much I love him. We should give him credit. Did you know that John Flute Vlog is super cool? He has a thing where anybody at any time can actually design, submit a, sh a shoe design, and they, 
accept applications like all, every single year for 20 years. And if they like it, they'll freaking make your shoe. Do they give you anything if they make your shoe? Yeah, you get like mad recognition. He's like a top notch dude. He's super down to earth. He just started a YouTube channel. Of course, it was all over that. I'm obsessed. He's super cool guy. And his shoes are, I'm obsessed. Did they Sorry, I was reminiscing for a second. Thanks for keeping the ball rolling. Okay, sorry. Um, oh, and then after we haven't been anywhere except the lake house for three days because COVID is killing everyone in North Carolina. Um, oh, this is a Kathleen with the big questions. How and when did you meet? I think we disagree actually about how when we met, right? Because I think we met at my old roommate's girlfriend's sister's graduation party. Uh, and Karen thinks we met somewhere else. I may have missed an ingredient. Did you miss the good ingredients? Possibly. <laughs> I got the whiskey for sure. Uh, can you pass me the grenadine, please? I definitely got the grenadine. Oh, okay. Can but I might not more? have, I might have missed the lemon juice. What do you think? Can I, may I try? I yeah. might be able to tell you well, what I Well, you're drinking the same exact drink. Really? <laughs> I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> this drink is different than that drink, just my seeing devil? This is a different thing. So I was working in an animal hospital after I graduated from... Oh, that's good. George Washington University. There's nothing wrong with that. I studied monkeys in college and I thought, oh, a vet is just also animals? That's a perfect job for me. Don't laugh. So... I like animals. I had a really nice friend, Rachel, who it worked with. And I actually had a boyfriend when I met Sean. So I was off the table. What? I was unavailable. Okay. But my boyfriend was in Africa, Oops. which is where we had met, and he was gone for a very long time. <laughs> and yeah, then you're Sean, not gonna be able to share anything. Sean was super <laughs> handsome. So yeah, that's our life, that's how we met. I don't think you're gonna get that question in. Yeah. You're getting a little, getting a little maybe a little too personal. No? I have to live with this too. This is what this is the story of our life. What do you have? Some? Do you want to edit it out? Yeah. I want to make it look good. Who are we? Yeah. <laughs> Who are we editing it out from? When did Nobody the, cares. When did the killers break in? <laughs> oh my god. We have to I'm edit this out. That's the story yeah. that we met. What do you Just, mean? Let's edit. Oh my god. <laughs> so Sean was the boyfriend of my friend. Boyfriend. <laughs> is that right? No. No. Nope. Was the boyfriend of my friends when you were Ian's boyfriend? I was actually no. nobody's boyfriend <laughs> oh at that time. Um, hey, what are you doing? I was Ian's third wheel, actually, most of the oh, time. Oh, with him yeah, and Rachel. Yeah. Yep. Which is awkward. Don't be a third wheel. Why'd you do that? I was fun. I was a really uh, fun you back then. Oh my god. Bored. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. 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 And when I met him, he used to keep his gym shorts no. really no, no, high no, up. No. no and then he would tuck his shirt into it. Remember your glasses were all totally broken and they were like scotch taped together like a real nerd. I, I am a real You're nerd. You're so cute, it was so cute. Okay, so that was how we met. And then there's more story, but that's enough so, for now so since we more. already have to edit it out. Yep. Um, oh, this is, I'll take this question next. Shayla Richardson asks, what is your favorite cocktail? Mine is the apple martini, pear martini. Not even the apple martini. What's yours? Paper, paper. For cocktails, probably right now. Say that again because I said it weird. Paper airplane. Hence the paper airplane in the painting behind yep. us. Yep. And I just realized I made her martini green, which would be kind of the color of the pear martini. That's my favorite right now. I am obsessed. It is so good. What's in the paper airplane? Bourbon, Aperol, lemon juice, bitters. Belle Marba asks, hello, hi Belle. Have you ever been to Barcelona or of any other place in Catalonia? I have not been to Spain at all. I have not. I was on a train, I thought once that I was on a train to Spain. <laughs> Like I literally bought tickets to Spain. <laughs> you thought? And I got on the train and there wasn't even rain. Oh my God, I'm so good. Um, and then the train never actually went to Spain. 
It turns and out she like, didn't speak the local language. I was language. like, huh, I guess le train est complet doesn't mean you're going to Spain. It means the train is full, which is why we, we got on another train, which instead went to Avignon, France, which was like the most beautiful city of my whole life. And so it was awesome. But Spain is definitely on the bucket list, though. I would very much like to go. Yeah. Yes, same. Um, Cheryl Richardson asks, favorite snacks? Prefer sweet or salty? Smart food. I was just gonna say, yeah, that's a no brainer for you. Yeah. Sean eats smart food like by the bag, like the big bags, and then he'll he'll sit the and he'll eat the whole entire bag. The serving size. Yes, every time, without fail. Um, I like, I have a little salt obsession, but I really like, I don't know, I like everything. I am not picky. Um, Heidi, what do you most enjoy doing together as a family? I would say traveling and... The travel is probably it, yeah. 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 It's like, they get it. They're good boys when we go places. Well, they are. Like sometimes it's like, you know, be in a car for a million hours or it'll just be a point that I'm whining and they're still not whining, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Deb, Deb Dalton to you says, don't you really just love those kitties? They sure like you. Because I post pictures of them like on your yeah. head. Yeah, yeah. You like Zoe. She's tolerable. She's a good girl. She didn't actually, she wouldn't stay in the room with us for the first year uh, that we had her. Um, this is getting gross. Sorry. Do you not um, want the rest of it? No, I don't like that. I don't like it. gross. <laughs> you want my cherries? Yeah. I, don't, I don't like cherries at all. Oh my God. They're the worst. They're the best. Oh. All right, so you like Zoe. Zoe's is a black one. Yeah. She loves it, Sean. Loves, loves, loves. Oh, I love this question. Tammy, hi Tammy, Hasbrook asks, are you of Scottish, Hasbrook, are you of Scottish origin and why do you love Scotland? No, not 1% and because it's awesome. Sean, are you of Scottish origin? I am. <laughs> what percentage are you? I don't really know exactly. <laughs> like a million percent. No. You're Campbell, for Christ's sake, I, and uh, a Crawford on the other side, which are both like full Scottish. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not huge into genealogy, but Lame. it is true that the Campbell clan uh, participated in the uh, the slaughter of the McDonalds, he did kill and then we were all family. run out of the country. Uh, so, so we came to the United States. Well, you didn't run then. No. I mean, you were you were kicked out, but you, the Campbells, and all the. Scottish Highlanders. It wasn't you can just post a link to the what? Wikipedia. People will. will get it right there. Yeah. But you, yeah. But sorry, you. The Campbells were bad. Don't let me. Still. <laughs> don't still don't let me. Don't mess with the Campbell. <laughs> we'll kill you. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Piss off! Uh, uh. Oh, I might have overspoke. Oh, moving on. Yeah. So Sean is like a hundred percent. He doesn't care at all. And I'm moving like as soon as possible because it's beautiful. And the people there are honestly awesome. And they have fairies, so enough said. Done. Are your boys interested in, a, in art as much as you? No, not at all. Strong no. Zero percent interest. Although Jack Aren't you supposed to be drawing right now? Oh, oh yeah, we were gonna have our lesson plies. Is this gonna take a long time? Well, you know what I can do is I can have our drawing lesson and we can have our talking. No, it doesn't. It's it's like a triangle, a stick, a circle, and then some liquid. Sounds hard. Mr. Karen, I like that. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Diana Larson asks, hi, Karen. I hope your life is going well. I have some questions for the, fam for the family for when you interview the amazing Mr. Karen. Uh, <laughs> AKA Sean. I was actually thinking of changing my name to Mr. Karen. Um, boys. Uh, no boys, uh, so we'll, we'll skip that. Sean, what is the craziest thing Karen has asked you to do? <gasps> Hi! Uh, that's a good question. What is the craziest thing Karen has asked you to do? Um, asked me to do? No, no, what is the craziest thing you have asked me to do? Oh, we're gonna need two pencils. 
craziest thing I've asked you to do. Oh, probably move to Scotland. Oh yeah, she does. And she asks me that all of the time. <laughs> like That's every it. day. Yep. You nailed it. <laughs> yep. I can't believe I forgot about that. We've never been to Scotland in winter. I hear it's vastly different than summer. I think it's exactly the same. All right. That's it. We're done. Okay. Time to draw. All right. Serious it up. It's a harrowing interview. Uh, uh, That's tasty, huh? So gross. Yeah. Um, do you want to do this in, one or do you want to do this one? In fairness, the drink that she was just finishing was actually a... Uh, Today. It was wrong. It was not the actual drink that you had oh. in here. We kind of messed know, it up a little bit. the first one was good yeah, and that one was The first one because rough. I actually remembered what the ingredients were <laughs> nice. and used those. And the second one, I might have deviated from the Let's formula. Let's do this one. This glass is prettier than this one. Okay. Come on, super fast. Hold your paper like this. Are you ready? Oh, you're gonna need an eraser maybe. No, I'm I gonna nail this. Go. Okay, ready? Yep. We're gonna, I brought a ruler actually, if that makes you more comfortable. We're gonna end up, we're like gonna emotional want- emotional support? <laughs> yeah. We want like to do just one line, like at the top. Just start light. Yeah, just straight. Nailed it. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna we're gonna make a triangle. It's like you can totally do this. So then just like we're making a triangle. So do that. Do a angled line on either side. Perfect. Now we're gonna do an even line on this side. Look, look at you! You don't even suck! All right, sweet. Okay, now we are going to make two straight lines. Say you're drawing, oh, I don't know, a martini glass, and you wanna drop down two, two pair. Look at you go! Mine is so thin, it's one Your, line. Mine looks like fat. <laughs> Yours like doesn't normal. need a diet. Mine yeah. needs a little more. That's very graceful. Breathe. Breathe. It's my first time. Yours doing amazing. I'm not usually so sketchy. I'm gonna wear this. This, this pencil is so light. It's, I'm used to using my weighted mechanical ones and this is like air. Okay, do you draw like a special circle All right, so around then the, the bottom. Do you do? Yeah, you make little feet first. And you have two choices. You could make, you could just do like another kind of triangle. Mm -hmm. That's probably just the easiest. I'm gonna go with the easiest thing. Yeah. And then you can just kind of like make a little curvy the curvy the bottom. Them. Look at you! I thought we agreed you needed to slim down the stem a little though. I don't have an eraser. I just thought I'd go you with just it. Just draw inside. You can erase it after. What? Yeah. I don't know these rules. Just draw and you can erase it after. Do you know your base is wider than the top of your drink? It's a really cool drink glass. Are you coming down on me right now? No, I just think it's gonna be very, very steady. That's not very supportive. All right, no, this yeah. is better. I didn't See? know you could change things. Yeah, so you can change done. literally anything you want. Oh, much better. Oh my God, this is like. I just, I was the a serious eraser. eraser. Right? Like, do I need oh, a, you know what else I need? Do I need a license? <laughs> I need my fine liners. I need a permit for this thing. So I've now erased every line. <laughs> you were fine. You just said really, really. No, no, one, no. One, one, one. Oh, that's so good. <clears throat> there we go. That's better. See, I wasn't sharp before. That's seriously good. Uh, Figures you'd be. So the cool thing about right. drawing, look at how good that is. Look how good it is. First time. Good job. All right. Um, it's a little wonky angle. So left. the only thing is I should never be drawing on your paper. You don't want these little inside lines. This is so rude. You should never let anybody just grab your paper like that. Like, Are you saying this like fighting words? Like you shouldn't. <laughs> I just have a, I always respect people. I'm like, don't, you should always ask permission to draw on somebody's thing. Don't let me do that. We're married. Now we need to use a fine liner and we will like make the lines harder. So you can here's like a 0.3 is good. 
These are some of my favorite multi-liners. These are, this is like a $12 pen. It's insane. These are, that's more affordable, but that's a good, 0.3 is a good thickness. What are we doing? We're gonna outline, I'll do three five so we like have the same ones. We're gonna just do like a hard outline. You do it like just right in the middle like that? Well, I did, I'm just outlining my drink. It's like the final line. Oh, that one was really crooked. I think it's the rye whiskey. I'm literally sweating right now, like having a. Like oh, you're doing the inside flash. and outside lines? Yeah. yeah. You just do your final lines. I'm so glad you're drawing with me. That's where I say me too. Oh, the stem is a little crooked. It's like. This is why I brought a ruler and then I proceeded not mm. to use it. Your line is straighter than mine. Good job. I think we know who draws here and who doesn't. You're doing a good job. You're a good teacher. I know, oh, right? I, I totally blew oh, that wait. one. Oh, wait. That one I blew a little bit. I'm gonna make it have like a side. Whoa. Whoa, you did the whole thing. Well, I mean. I wonder if I can use this as like a, like, like a big scrunchie. My hair is so long. I haven't cut it since like March. Oh, that didn't work. My wrist is like caught. Let's see if I can do it. So impressed, Sean Campbell. I'm going with the hairy edge. You do. Oh, okay. It's away from my face. That's amazing. All right. So now you can erase your extraneous pencil lines. Oh man, so much work. I'm gonna make this look legit. And the Copic stuff doesn't uh, doesn't even erase. Nope. What if you wanted to smudge it? You could use a crappy fine liner instead. And then you, you can draw the line of the alcohol or you can just have a soft line and not do that. But first we're gonna make it look a little bit realistic by adding some gray. So you take like a light gray. I'm gonna do like a C4. Yeah, we're not feeling bold. We could do a C4 and I'll do an N4 so we're on the same one. Let me see if this is too dark. No, that's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do like a little, you just like, Give it a little, give it a little kiss, like a little whisper of a gray. See, you're just doing a swipe and it gives it the appearance of like. <laughs> a little swipe. A little. <laughs> Gentle little Just swipe. a little kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks awesome. Just a little <laughs> white whisper. No, I totally whispered that. <laughs> just. See, here's the thing. This is a well, brush no, nib. No, I've never used one of these yeah. before. And it's so. a brush nib, so it's like. If you've never used one of these before, it's just a whisper. It is just a whisper. Just a whisper. It's literally. And that you'll you'll know so what that means right after now. you put your first. <laughs> you put your big hug down and Strike instead. down the middle of the paper. <laughs> whisper, gentle. Just a whisper. Bob Ross knows what I mean. Okay, it's just like a it's just a kiss here and there. there oh, no, I got you now. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's it, just whoosh, a little bit, yep, good job. Just almost like you're outlining it and you skip some places intentionally. Yeah. All right, now let's give it a little table. We're almost done. Give it a little base. Just, right. just put a, now this is where you can go a little bold. It's nice to put it on and have a foundation for it so it's not like floating. All right, whisper grays. We got the base. Look at that, nailing it. So proud of you. Oh crap, we need some cherries in this Wardenate. So I forgot about the cherries. Let's do them inside. We'll just do two circles. Can we start with pencil? Oh, yeah, pencil. let's do pencil because, you know. And then I'm gonna do like a, I'll do the toothpick. All right, so we have like cherries and a toothpick. How's my hair look? So good. Wedding to death. Oh, that's not a good look for anyone. Look, I dyed my hair today, so it's like 
it's the ugliest hairline of all the world. Oh, it's just really defined. <laughs> okay, you, you have it? Line? All right, yeah, so I'll now get, get your fine liner and I'll line that. All right, but no gray. Yeah, no more gray whispers for you. Clearly that's uh, not in your wheelhouse anyways. My first time, you're supposed you're to be You're doing gentle. so good. Oh, the cherries is the best part. Look at how fun! Oh yeah, I can't believe I almost forgot that. And again, just erase your poopy extra marks. All right, now we get the fun coloring part. You can color your cherries are usually like pretty dark. I'm just guessing this one. I'm just gonna, I don't even know what, you should always, oh, see, test your colors. That's the wrong color. Don't use this one. But see how I'm not upset about it? Because it's like... You sure these aren't all the same color? <laughs> well, this one's not. This is like a plum. That's like a brown. Yeah. But it's they're under the they're in the drink, so I figured mm -hmm. it would look darker anyway. I didn't even color in the lines. I'm going to go with an R46. It can't be any worse red. than this. Than me right now. And then this was kind of like This a, is the whispery end? Are you use that? Yeah. This is, the this is a chisel. And this is brush, chisel, brush. All you right. can choose whichever one you like, but I always use the brush. All right, I don't know what color this is, but I'm hoping it's the color that I need. Oh, that looks good. The cool thing about drawing things like dead on, like, like if this was a house drawing, it would be like an elevation, is that you don't have to make anything look 3D. Like the glass can just be one. You don't have to worry about making anything look like it's in depth or anything. It's like a little cheat. Ooh, I'm using the chisel. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. You're so crazy. My, it's like a little sloshy up top. It's hard to draw straight after having two gross martinis. No, the first one really wasn't gross. The second one really was. Not really. Uh, oh. <laughs> You're not really selling the recipe. <laughs> no, the I just said the first one was really good, and that was the actual one. Yeah, the other one wasn't quite the, yeah, uh, so the I was recipe. Selling the recipe it was good. I want to try them all. Ward eight. Booyah! Look at this. Nailed it. Very proud of you. Is that a really good teacher? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna resign my position right. and do this full time. Full time. <gasps> right. No, this is uh, this is neat. This is the first project that uh, I've ever actually done with you. That's not true. We've done like drink and draws before a long time ago. Remember? How much did we drink? <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Right. Um, yeah, we when I used to host painting parties in our house. Oh, oh, live. Yeah. Sure, but this is my first video. Oh yeah. Oh, good yeah. job. I think you All need right. the top down cam yeah, to show. Yeah, that's what I said. That's where the humor I is. Know. Really, like you draw something. I know, that's what I said. I tried to draw the same thing. Did you hear me say thing? that? I literally said no. when we started, I said, said if no. we were legit, Billy would be here and he, we, yeah, we would I have the top down I think we're going to have to refilm the entire episode. <laughs> I am not. No. Let's do the uh, the French 75. It's got, oh, uh, really? yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try that again. Ready? You ready? <laughs> yep. <All right. laughs> one more. Oh God. I need okay. To go full Hollywood here. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Why are you quizzical? <laughs> quizzical? That was a fury of rage. And that's why I didn't you really make it in Hollywood. <laughs> and that's why I'm a computer oh, software developer. Oh, that's hilarious. Ooh, fallen angel sounds nice. Right? All right. All right. Any more? So that's a... Uh, it's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thanks for hanging out with us. Cheers, big ears. Same goes, big nose. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah.